You know that there are some prayers you don't need to pray, you just need to dance. Hey, let's just see what would happen for the next five minutes if we praise God with intentionality. There was somebody this morning, you said that you start showers and you stood in your living room and you said, God, oh, this is my own dance for you. Why were you praising God? My son, I've been asking him to be following me to the church. Okay, I said, come, I will go and report you to Pastor Jimmy. And Pastor Jimmy will call on you. Uh, he said, if you call, he will answer him. Let me, let me show you how simple, but yet how big this is. God was listening to a conversation between a mother and a son. And a mother was crying unto God concerning her son. And she makes a statement and says, I report you to Pastor Jimmy, or he'll call you. And the son probably is thinking, there is no way that will ever happen. So he says to her, if Pastor Jimmy calls me, I will come. And God says, okay, so that he will show the mother that he hears her cry. <laughs> and he will show his son the power of a praying mother. Yes, Do you sir. have your phone with you? Yes, sir. Let's call Ibrahim. <laughs> Hello, Ibrahim. How are you? I'm just fine, sir. This is Pastor Jimmy Odukoya speaking. So this is me calling you, telling you to come to church. So Sunday, you'll come. All right. The house I lived in was demolished. And on the 4th of this month, my boss just called us and said, oh, I'm not taking you guys back. I'm moving the company to Egypt. So I became jobless. Jobless and homeless. homeless. All the lessons that you don't want. Yes. Let me stop you there. It's weird. I just heard that you just got a job. So I don't know if the person is here, the person is online. Royal Ogs says she'll give her a job. <laughs> says she's been looking for a manager. You act she actually applied to Royal Hogs. <laughs> She's shaking. They do rentals, yeah? And events. And you apply to them. Oh. Well, you just became the manager at Royal Hogs. Ma, please come sit here. Someone said, what about accommodation? Someone said they'll sort it out. Because you said you were homeless as well. Somebody has a one-room accommodation self-contained for you. They, I, I heard it. My son is at home. He would have gone back to school. Yesterday, I lied down on the cushion in the night. So he woke me, said, Daddy, come and go and sleep. I said, immediately I stood up. I said, miracle, no, they finish. I started singing the song. Suddenly I heard something on my phone. And he would have gone back to school. He's in Unilag. We didn't met. He would have gone back to school. And I just said, boom, in my phone. I just picked the phone and I saw, ah, who sent money to me? I was very, very surprised. <laughs> so I was not supposed to come. My wife said, come out. So immediately I told him, I said, go and get ready, go and get ready. To the glory of God, even though I've not finished paying, but at least he has gone back to school this morning. What's the balance? The balance is 220. I had like 250 in my head. I've been hearing 250, 250, 250. I need somebody there, 250, 250, 250. Oh, someone's giving you 250 for your school fees. <laughs> you can go sit down now. I do events. Then one of my cousins last year paid 3,400 pounds into my account for events to be done this year. Business got bad. And she wanted that money by the end of this January. Ma'am, sit down. You pride yourself in being a sincere person. When are you supposed to do this job that the person paid into your account? She has um, this UK jackpot things that they do. She was she wanted me to marry his brother to go to UK so that I can take the brother and the children because the wife does not want to go and my children to relocate abroad. She's actually my cousin. But well, you're married. I'm married. So because you said no, you're not going to do it. She now says she wants to collect yeah, her money. She the money. Now she's the money now. How, how much of the 5.8 do you have? I would like to be truthful. Be truthful. You are sitting on the altar of the Lord. I put my car to sale. My car is on sale now. I want to sell my car. You want to sell your car? To, so you can have money? My neighbor asked me to send my, my car number that I want to buy the car. My last one is 12 years. I, don't, I normally talk with them so if I want to take any decision. So I now said, Oba, uh, mommy, she the them wants to buy this car. I said, mommy, I'll be feeling bad seeing them riding this car. <laughs> and we have no cars. 3,400 pounds is a lot of money, but it's not a lot of money for the Lord. But I feel like he wants to do it differently. It's not going to be plenty of people. I'll give you 1,000 pounds. Somebody else has given you 1,000 pounds in church. My sister, she was watching, and she said she'll give you 1,000. Oh, here, and here's $400, so. Sorry. So you don't have to sell your car. Well, I lost my, my shop some years back in Yaba, and I said that I pick up a job with Lastema. It's a contract job. They just 
stop us? Ma'am, so I feel like we need to start business again. I have an amount in my head. Do you have an amount in your head? You had two million, right? Ma'am, God is going to give you two million. Wait, wait, wait. Wait first. My phone just vibrated. Ma'am, I just got an alert for two million for you. While I was messaging, someone else gave you one million. Ma'am, well done. So they hit your car. What are you doing now? You're, are you the panel bitter? So now they have to beat it out and paint it. Are you planning to change the car? Uh, to be honest, I want to. I feel like someone's going to give you a car. Now check online and check here. So, ma'am, Farida just gave you a 2017 Honda. <laughs> so congratulations, ma'am. <laughs>